Hi, I'm Alpine Dan, and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Eurohike Rydal 500. Now, tents of this size, so four or five berth tents, and those that have a, a rear bedroom and a front living area are really popular, and there are a lot on the market. What I want to know is, what sets the Rydal 500 apart from its competitors? As you would expect from any quality family tent, the Rydal 500 comes equipped with Illuminous Guy Lines, which is always handy around the campsite at night. More, more special on this tent is the fact that the, um, you have these riveted eyelets, uh, which the guy lines are attached to, which help to secure the guy line to the fly sheet and to the pole all at the same time, and it gives it a great level of stability and holding in, in bad weather. Further down, as you can see, we have colour-coded pole sleeves uh, for, for help when putting the tent up, and that really does take the pain out of it there. And in those pole sleeves, you've got really burly 13 millimetre uh, fibreglass flexi poles so they really will to withstand some bad conditions. And then finally you've got something that's a little bit unique to this tent, you've got a great ventilation system, you've got these large vents, lower vents here on both sides of the tent and they're also accompanied by uh, a pair of front vents and a rear vent and that really helps to reduce condensation which, uh, which a lot of manufacturers don't tend to pick up on quite as well. As you would expect from any quality family tent, the Rydal 500 is equipped with some really nice uh, windows, great for letting in natural light and keeping it airy inside. They're also equipped with uh, some shutters that help to give you a little bit of privacy and also shut out really strong sunlight on hot days. What's a little bit more unusual about this tent are the great storm sealing features across the bottom of both of the doors. Um, in the corners you've got these zipper garages that, that's, that prevent the wind driven rain coming in at the corner. And then you also have these really, really generous uh, storm flaps that come up and attach to the lower part of the door to stop wind-driven rain coming in underneath. When you step in the tent, uh, the first thing you notice is the amount of headroom you've got. It, it's quite unusual in a tent of this size to have this much headspace. I'm nearly six foot tall and there's still acres of room above me, so great for anybody who's taller. The other thing uh, you can see, there's some great features in the living area. Uh, firstly, you've got this great central organiser in a tent you're always losing your knickknacks and your thingamajigs and your keys and this is a brilliant way to keep them all organised. Up above we've got a, a lantern hanging point for an electric lantern or torch or something like that. And if you're at a campsite with a, with a powered hookup you can run off mains power. There is a Velcro cable routing running down the roof of the tent all the way to floor level uh, for your power cable. Accompanying that there is a, a zipped port to bring your mains power cables inside and obviously help prevent drafts and things coming in. It can be sealed down around the cable itself. Also in this part of the living area, you've got this uh, another great uh, organiser for storing even more things. So really, really well specced for that. So in the sleeping compartment, we've got some more handy little features. Um, you've got more storage on both sides of the tent. You've got this mesh panel here that marries up with the, with the rear vent that helps to keep a nice flow of, of fresh air during the night. And then at the top you've got another lantern hanging point. The tent also comes with a divider that you can put down the middle of the sleeping compartment. Uh, and it's been quite cleverly offset to give you a, a double sleeping compartment one side and a single the other. And, and this tent's generally going to be used by families with perhaps just one child. Uh, and that really makes the space perfect for that kind of use. The bedroom compartment is sealed with twin doors and they've both got uh, mesh venting panels at the top that can be sealed away on colder nights or opened on clammy nights to help you manage the ventilation. The combination of all these features gives you a really, really flexible sleeping space. Finally, the Rydal 500 comes with fully flame retardant construction and is complete with a handy carry bag and detailed instructions. So who would I recommend the Rydal 500 to? Well, for, for small groups and families, it's a great weekend tent. It's very, very easy to put up, uh, making it ideal for stays of uh, one or two nights. For longer trips, it's great for couples, giving you that little bit of extra space that enables you to stay away for a, a week or more. And finally, festivals. Uh, people wouldn't traditionally think of a tent like this for festivals, but if a, if a group of you get together, share the cost and the weight of something like this, it gives you a great place to relax after a hard night's partying. So if you're looking for a compact, well-made family tent at a competitive price, you'll do hard to find something better than the Rydal 500. 
Pick up one in store or online today. As we, there. <laughs> Too far. <laughs>